Hello and welcome to our latest tutorial. Today we're diving into an exciting new addition to SharePoint, the CDB Hero Banner web part. This web part's all about captivating your audience the moment they land on your page. It's a place where you can promote a message and provide a call to action, but it's also a place to embed news and information to keep everyone in the loop with the most recent updates and stories. If you like our videos, please click the subscribe button. Let's take a look at the web part. So I'm on my SharePoint page here, and I'm just going to edit the page as I normally would to add a web part to it. And if you're not familiar with editing SharePoint pages, what you'll find is on the left hand side, you've got a plus button and you can choose what layouts you want to add. So this web part actually works in the full width section, which is 100% width of your page. But it also works in the other columns as well. To get the full impact of a hero web part, we're going to use the full width section. And you can see when this opens up, we've got the new option here for the CDB hero banner web part. If we select that, it'll add the web part with some of the default options. So this gives me a welcome message. That's my user display name. Um, a paragraph there and a call to action. But there's also some news items in here as well. And these colors of the buttons will change depending what your theme is on the site. I'm going to click the edit button and have a look at the different options we have. So we've got the welcome text which says welcome. Um, I might want to change that text and I can change that here. And I can also hide the username so that's completely optional to add that to the headline. I can change the welcome paragraph. I can also set the call to action link and title. So I could change this here to read more. And I can put a link where I want that button to go. I can also turn off the call to action completely if I wanted to. And I've got the option to adjust the padding on that web part if I want to make it uh, bigger or smaller. So there's a number of built-in images from the Microsoft Photostock library. So we've got things like buildings, a meeting, um, travel, students, and other options. But we can also add a link to our own custom image that we want to use. So if you've uploaded your own image, grab the URL, copy and paste it in here, and you can use that as a background image. Just remember to put the image somewhere where everyone can access. So we've got the option to have the news at the bottom here. We can actually turn that off and it'll change the, the view, the look and feel of the web part. Or we can leave it on. And it'll show the three most recent news items from around the tenant, not just this site, but from all sites that that user has access to. But we could, if we wanted to, restrict it to only show news on this site. And that might be useful if you're a communications person and this is your official organization news, you may want to promote that in this web part. So you've got that option here as well. Alternatively, your news and your official communication site might be somewhere else. So again, I can paste in the URL here of the site I want to use as my news source. And that will override these settings and show the news from those sites. Once I'm done, I just click publish and that web part is live for everybody with those settings. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find out more about our services by going to our website, www.clouddesignbox.co.uk. And if you have any feedback on our web parts, please email our support team. Thank you for watching.